Hey guys, what's going on? JW here back again with another video here with some PES 2017 news. Now, uh, if you like me, um, a lot of you probably aren't. Uh, I preferred Pro Evo last year to FIFA. Uh, PES 2016 was, in my opinion, a better football game than FIFA. Um, again, my opinion, if you don't agree with that, then you don't agree with that. But PES 2016, in my opinion, was better than FIFA last year. And this edition of PES looks absolutely insane. Don't get me wrong, I get both games, I enjoy both games. But this edition of PES looks insane. And they just released some new information about the game modes. And obviously we saw all this, the real touch, the precision passing, better goalkeepers, which is really important. Uh, some more advanced instructions, the AI is better, different you know, set-piece controls, authentic visuals. It's just the game looks amazing. But what we've got now is we've got some modes information. Now, my club. My club is basically Pez's version of Ultimate Team on FIFA. They've been going with the my club mode for two two years now, um, maybe even three. Uh, I, I forgot. There's no other way around that. Um, so, yeah, what it says here, the scouts required to send the players you need is now available through the auction house. So, in FIFA, they have an auction house uh, where you buy and trade your players. Whereas in PES, the only way to get your players is through these ball openings. I'm pretty sure you've seen them on YouTube. Uh, so you open up a ball and uh, you get a surprise player. So I'm not really sure what what this is, to be honest. I mean, you can see like they're searching for scouts on a market. Um, so if you sign the right scout with their speciality areas covering your star, scouting him will be so much more higher in chance. 2017 function supports support the scout to keep their word when you specifically describe the player you want to sign. So maybe it's making it easier to get those specific players you want in your team. It says uh, it's easier to sign players below the rate of 75 through top agents, maybe making teams less of a power because if you play Pez nowadays, everyone you come up against has Ronaldo, has Messi, has Roberto Baggio. So yeah. Uh, analysis. Now you can check your opponent's playstyle and tendencies. That's that's pretty helpful. And new tutorials, so uh, it's easier for newcomers to get into the mode. So Master League. Master League is uh, Pez's version of career mode. Master League uh, is going through some significant changes this year, as you can see. Um, there's a revamp in the in, in there's a revamp in the negotiation process for Pez. Um, uh, transfers have been very unrealistic in Master League, and I'm glad they're overhauling this. It's making it's going to make them a lot more fun to play. Um, team roles, they've added more of those. Real life kickoff times, and of course, the player growth system has been improved as well. So you can read over that if you really want to. But overall, it just means that Master League's getting a big revamp, and I'm pretty happy with that because I love Master League. Uh, here's have a look. This uh, here, with the Champions League getting underway. This is uh, some screenshots. So, uh, yeah, versus data, again, it's just going to track your win, uh, it's going to track your win losses with uh, different people on your console. I tend to play a lot of uh, matches on my home console locally with my friends, um, my little brother, stuff like that. So I play a lot of PES locally, so that's pretty cool. Referees, they've revamped the referees in the game, which is also pretty cool. Um, there was a big problem with the update last year where... It, the referee didn't really give fouls he, he was really supposed to give and yeah I, I do like the fact that um, they're revamping the referee system obviously there's new stadiums um, so I mean they usually add new stadiums uh, brand new pitch turf designs give variety and they've changed our options on the goal net types in edit mode which adds a unique look to every stadium you're playing I'm pretty happy with that I do like customization options and I like new I like Brand new fresh things added to the game just makes the game more enjoyable. Uh, live updates, so yeah, you'll be able to download squads, um, also apply to all European transfers, so uh, that's good. And obviously presentation revamps. So completely new menu design throughout the game, main menu, template, um, game plan, the HUD, redesign highlights and replays. I'm glad they're redesigning the replays because the replays are very old fashioned in PES. And obviously Arsenal FC are officially, um, they are officially, um, they are officially licensed, that's the word I was looking for, they are officially licensed in this game, which is good, and as you can see here, uh, they've got player faces on the um, on the game plan, that's pretty nice, I do like that, although it looks a bit weird in this screenshot, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that when the game comes out, but that's cool, if I can just get off that. Uh, vibration, so controller vibration, this is something that I've, I actually really enjoy in video games, now it sounds weird, I know. 
but control of vibrations it really adds the feeling like you're in as it says, as the feeling of being in a thick of action, it really does feel like the ball's heavier whenever you shoot. Where it just really, it just really gets you more involved in the game. It ha they have it in NBA, where like the, the controller vibrates every time you bounce the ball, and it just feels really good. Now this is a big one. Edit data sharing available for PlayStation 4. Share your great team to players with uh, other only through easy transfer via USB. It's gonna make um, getting real player, na real player. T um, God damn it. Real team names, real player names, and uh, real badges and kits in the game is going to make that a whole lot easier. I'm super psyched for that. My Skype just went off, don't worry about that. But yeah, let me know what your favourite new features are in the game. I'm really excited for this new pairs. I'm, I'm quite happy with this new information. Let's have a look at the screenshot here. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy about it. So uh, yeah, you guys at the time, what you're most looking forward to in PES 2017. But until next time, guys, I've been JW. Bye-bye.